Hi lovelies, it's Cinnamon McCann with the Stiletto Series and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can accept uh, payment on your website and for those of you who are looking for an alternative to PayPal you are going to love this tutorial because in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about Stripe. Stripe is a great way to accept payment online and if you go to stripe.com you can sign up for a free account and if you look at the website it is going to look a little intimidating so I want to show you how you can marry both JotForm and Stripe to be able to set payment online. So let's get started. So right now we're at JotForms. You can sign up, JotForm rather, um, you can sign up on JotForm for free. You can accept up to 10 submissions. And you can do more than just do online payment. You can do surveys and a whole host of other things. If you want to do contact forms, whatever type of form you can think of, JotForm is the place to be to kind of do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to integrate it. So before we go into it, I want to show you that JotForm accepts a variety of different payment processing. But of course, we're going to go with Stripe. So before we do all of that, let's go to their templates. It's a lot easier to work with a template that's already been created than to make it yourself, in my opinion. So I want to go, I want to use a template that specifically works with Stripe. So let me just type Stripe here in the search box. And let's go with this cookie order form. It's going to show me what it looks like. I'm going to say yes. And you can literally customize every aspect of this form. So you can change this, of course, into your company's name, um, Sandy's Cookies. And it, of course, doesn't have to be cookies. Anything that falls in line with various products and different prices, whether it be for size or color or whatever, you can do that. So you can change the background, a variety of different things. You can play around with that. I just want to show you how to integrate it with Stripe. So as you can see right here where it's talking about credit card, this is the credit card wizard or payment wizard. And so right now it has my account information here, but I'm going to show you how to integrate it. So right now you're going to log into Stripe.com, of course, after you've set up your account, and you're going to go here not highlighted here to your account and your account is going to give you these options you want to go to your API keys and this is the easy way that you have the two forms or the two forms of software communicate with each other so you're going to go here to your API key and if you want to test it you can you know copy these two but if you want to go live and actually start accepting payment you have to make sure that you are copying these live keys here. So this is the live secret key. You're going to copy this. And you can't see it all the way because I've blurred it so you can't see my account. And you're going to copy it. And then you're going to go here and you are going to paste it. And now for the publishable key, you copy here. and then you are going to paste that in job forms. And you're going to determine the currency you want to use. And here it tells you about the pricing of Stripe. As you can see, if you're used to accepting payment anywhere, it's very comparable to most of the payment processors out there. You can decide whether you want to sell product, you want to do multiple products, however you want to do it, sell subscription, donations, all that great stuff. You can edit these by simply clicking on them, changing this. You can change your price to whatever it is you want to change it to. Go ahead next. And then the integration is complete. You hit finish and now here's your form. So let me show you how to publish it. Right here you're going to go to set up and embed. So you can do an embed form. And this will actually give you the link that if you want to email this to your customers they simply can go to this and fill out the form and process their payment. Now click here so that you make sure that it's going to be a secure form. If you want to embed it in your actual website, you have this option in which you copy this and put this right into your website so that people can uh, go ahead and type in their payment information. So let me give you a disclaimer about Stripe that I didn't know about before signing up. 
If you're used to PayPal being pretty immediate, meaning when someone makes a payment, it goes directly into your pay bank account, and then it you can transfer it. To, mm, that's not right. When you make a payment with PayPal, it goes into your PayPal account, um, and then you can transfer it to your bank account. That will take anywhere from what two to five days. The way Stripe works, it actually takes seven days. Um, and if you're used to PayPal, that may stress you out a bit. But if you've ever worked with PayPal and experienced some of their um, interesting practices, I should say, um, then it may cause you to look for an alternative, which is what I did. Um, so it does take seven days, and it's seven calendar days, not seven business days. So seven days from you accepting the payment is when the money will actually go directly into your account. It's not in this middleman like it is with PayPal, and that could be a, a good thing. So just expect a seven day turnaround and you'll be fine um so that's about it if you have any questions of course leave your questions below and i will do my best to answer them and if you know anyone who needs to accept payment on their website shoot this video over to them so they can learn how to use jot forms and stripe so until next time i will see you all a little later thanks